for those younger footballers that are doing other sports, at what age did you start to focus more seriously on football and how did you manage your athletics loads as well? Yeah, um, so athletics, I I kept the athletic side of things to um, more of the endurance training sessions. Um, then I just really focused with my footy just on the touch, things that you can do anywhere, anytime. Um, and I think that, that helped me a lot because I was combining them both pretty well. Um, it got to about the bottom age year of my under-18s, NAB League, and I thought that um, to put a little bit more effort into my footy, that would that would give me the best chance for ultimately getting drafted and, and playing good footy. So, um, yeah, I just focused on, on balancing them both, but um, mapping out the best ways that I could, uh, yeah, complete the boat, like do both to the best of my ability. What would be a typical week? How often would you train? How many how many hours would you be training in a week? Um, in terms of footy and, and running sessions or? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm just reading a few of these comments. Uh, I was normally training about five times a week. Normally have yep. Sunday and Wednesday off. Okay, yeah. So running so five times a week? Yeah. Uh, yeah, plus a few footy sessions here and there as well. You got drafted the Brisbane Lions. How did that all feel? Take us through uh, draft night. Yeah, look, it was um, pretty exciting, pretty nerve-wracking as well. Um, but once again, didn't want to expect too much. I'll get my expectations up. So I was just, yeah, sitting there pretty low-key with the family and, um, yeah, lucky enough that my name was read out and, and moved, like, drafted to a great club. So I was very fortunate and grateful for that. Um, and, yeah, couldn't, couldn't fault the pre-season and all the support I've been given since then. Take us through some influences that's been throughout your journey. You've mentioned a couple already who, who have helped you along the way, along your career to date. Um, yeah, a lot of, lot of footy football coordinators throughout um, the ranks, um, all my junior coaches, um, special mention, Howard Clark from St Pat's, Baz Rollings from Caulfield Grammar. Um, yeah, put me in good stead and um, guided me through, yeah, through my junior footy and just a whole lot of support. And then obviously the main ones, mum and dad, um, plenty of support from them and just, just um, plenty of encouragement to enjoy my footy and, and make the most of the opportunity that I had. If you're speaking to your younger self, let's say 16-year-old self, for those young footballers that are listening and tuned in, what would be your advice with, with now the experiences you've, you've got? Um, yeah, just really enjoy your footy. Um, work hard behind, behind the scenes and uh, have a good balance between school, social life and, and obviously your footy. When you get the opportunity to have rest days and um, even half days off, then... Yeah, it's important just to reset and um, actually do do stuff with that time, um, not just yeah sit around home. So yeah, you've got a few hobbies, catch up catch up with mates is one of them. Um, surfing, a bit of golf as well. So it's pretty balanced and um, yeah, good good lifestyle.